Sarah and I'm from the Salvation Army. I am the Emergency Service Director. Hi, I'm Deb Crowell from Employee Child Care and I'm the Administrator. Hi, I'm Kylie Ryerson and I'm a student at Emporia State University. I'm Ben Malik, sophomore at Emporia State University. Way raises over $600,000 annually that we distribute back to our community. So we work with um, um, over about 23 organizations. We give our money to those organizations and they do all sorts of things from providing child care to making sure people have food, utilities assistance, rent. They give um, women and their families an escape from domestic violence. So we, we have a pretty significant impact on the community and in fact we serve one in seven residents. The organizations fall into the following categories. Helping children and youth succeed, strengthening and supporting families, promoting self-sufficiency, building vital and safe neighborhoods, uh, providing vulnerable and aging populations. One special project, the Day of Caring. This powerful day of service in the fall when hundreds of volunteers from local companies and organizations, such as ESE students, make a difference at local agencies and schools and in the lives of students and clients by completing much needed projects. This year's participants include SOS, Boy Scouts, Emporia Child Care Center, Emporia Main Street, and Camp Alexander. SOS provides parents a safe environment in which to exchange custody or for supervised child visitation. In addition, SOS provides crisis services to those in rural communities. The Salvation Army provides assistance to those in emergency or crisis situations to obtain basic necessities. The Girl Scouts offers the traditional troop program, Girls in Science, Technology and Math, and other outreach programs to girls throughout the community. American Red Cross provides local disaster relief and disaster preparedness training and community health and safety training, including first aid and CPR. Big Brothers and Big Sisters offers one-to-one -one mentoring and first friends club for our community's youth. Camp Alexander offers many programs to the youth in our community, including adventure education, summer camp, schools out camp, and various outreach programs. Emporia Child Care Center offers child care and preschool programs to children between the ages of two weeks and six years old. Plum Place provides transitional housing for women trying to get back on their feet. Boy Scouts provides scout outreach to areas surrounding Emporia and offers a character development program. Catholic Community Services provides counseling services for people of all ages. Housing and Credit Counseling provides credit counseling and education on a wide variety of financial issues. Lyon County Restricted Emergency Fund offers rent and utility assistance. I think the strengths of the United Way are that we, um, we really are here for every member of our community. We don't discriminate. We, we make it our mission to help everyone who needs it. And we make it our mission to improve lives. The strengths of United Way is that it helps all families in the Emporia area. It's at least 10,000 people in this area are affected every year by the United Way funds, and it helps our families by helping them have a little bit lower cost in care, and that way um, it's easier for them to be able to go to work and survive. And the biggest thing that working with the United Way is the funding because there are so many needs in our community and it's, those are needs that can't be met just with any money that we can get from anywhere helps the people in the community and help. so we're able to help other people and the United Way is one of the largest donors that we do have on an ongoing basis every year. Volunteering to me means giving your time to help someone else with something that they may be in need with. Volunteering is a good way to help people get out there, help the community get make things better. Okay. 
Um, one of the, the ways that most people know about the United Way is through giving to the United Way, um, and that's usually through the workplace campaign um, where they do a payroll deduction. But what we also want people to know is there are a lot of ways to volunteer with our community, whether you help with our day of caring, whether you um, are on, one, on our board or on one of our committees. And probably one of the most important committees that we have is uh, um, Community Investment Committee. And that's a group of 20 community members who actually look at the $600,000 we raise, and they are the ones who make the decisions on where the money goes. So there are a lot of ways to volunteer, and we want people to know that all they have to do is give us a call, look at our website, and we would be happy to, to give them a volunteer sign. People can get involved in the United Way by many different ways, by not only supporting the campaign, being a fair share giver, which is one hour of pay a month, or they could volunteer to help raise funds. They could They could also contact United Way to see if any of the different agencies need any help in having anyone volunteer. There are many ways to be involved. Just being a strong supporter makes a big difference. Um, I started here a week after I graduated from college back in 77 and have never left. I started as a closing teacher working 10 to 6 and became administrator and here I am. You know, I have my master's degree in nonprofit management and it's sort of been my life's work to only work with, um, with nonprofit organizations and when this um, job became available when I was moving to Emporia, it just, I just felt so blessed that I had the opportunity to even apply for the job. and to actually get the job was amazing. So it's just sort of that usual cycle that a lot of people have when they find a job. Um, and I, I thank my lucky stars every day that I get to be here. A time I volunteered was when New Mana was in El Dorado helping out Haiti, and I went and helped make the food for them. I volunteered at the Emporia Animal Shelter spent a couple hours out there every day walking playing with the animals out there until they got adopted and it, it, that was the best part watching them walk out with their owners and getting adopted education is important because without it children wouldn't be functioning as adults as they should and they wouldn't be such a good asset to society Neighborhoods need to be real safe, uh, like no crime or anything like that. I mean, not to the point where you can just leave your windows and doors unlocked every night, but to the point where you're not fearful of living in your house and you're barricading yourself in or something. Supportive families are really helpful. Without my supportive family, I wouldn't be where I am today. Supportive families are like your shoulder to lean on. They're a very wonderful stability to have while going through school and even into young adulthood. The bridge between the United Way and the Salvation Army is really good because um, it makes it stronger and we help each other in the community to make it a better place to live. Right. Um, I think to live united is to have an awareness of our community and to, to really think of others, to think about what you can do to improve our community, make it a better place, to really you know, lead by example. That's what it means to live united. Thank you. Living united is um, being kind to your neighbor, to helping others, looking out for each other, and just being the best type of citizen that you can be. Live United. Live United. Live United.